The soil bacteria on Easter Island weren't making rapamycin to slow down aging, but rather to slow down the growth of its natural enemy, soil fungi, just like fungi make penicillin to wipe out competing bacteria. Fungi from yeast on up, like all plants and animals, have mTOR genes. This target of the rapamycin enzyme is the universal growth regulator of advanced life forms. So, while rapamycin originally drew attention as an antifungal drug, we soon learned it had many other effects. Dozens of published studies have demonstrated that rapamycin, by slowing down mTOR, extends both the average and maximum lifespans of laboratory mice. In fact, rapamycin appears to be a universal anti-aging drug, extending the lifespan of all animals and organisms tested to date, the only known drug to do so. It can even work when started in midlife. The original National Institute on Aging Interventions testing program experiment in 2009 uh, was delayed because the researchers were having difficulty keeping rapamycin stable in the mouse food pelleting process. It can't just be dissolved in their drinking water because it's fat-soluble. By the time they were up and running, the allotted batch of mice were 600 days old, which is equivalent to like 60 years of age in humans. Even though the mice started the drug so late in life, their lifespans were still extended by about 12%, which could equate to more than an added seven years of human life. Initially, it was debated whether rapamycin was a true anti-aging intervention or merely a potent anti-cancer agent, lengthening lifespans by just preventing cancer formation. mTOR signaling is hyperactive in up to 80% of human cancers, where it plays a pivotal role in sustaining tumor growth. Rapamycin is used clinically to prevent the rejection of organ transplants by suppressing the proliferation of immune cells that attack the new organ, and a peculiar side effect was found. In a set of 15 patients who had biopsy-proven Kaposi sarcoma, a cancer that often affects the skin, all sarcoma skin lesions disappeared in all patients within three months after starting rapamycin therapy. The cancer just vanished. As TOR is the master regulator of cellular growth, the cancer remission was not completely unsurprising, but subsequent rapamycin studies showed it can do so much more. In animal models, rapamycin extends health span too. Rapamycin can ameliorate age-related declines in cognitive function and physical function, prevent hearing loss, artery dysfunction, and tendon stiffening, regenerate the periodontal bone that holds teeth in place, and even rejuvenate the hearts of aged mice. Remarkably, health and longevity benefits could be achieved with intermittent or transient dosing, like getting one dose every five days, or for just a few months during middle age. As a dog dad, I was excited to read about the Dog Aging Project, where people brought their middle-aged companion canines to be randomized to low-dose rapamycin or placebo for 10 weeks, like in the mouse studies, rapamycin appeared to at least partially reverse some of the age-related heart dysfunction without any untoward side effects. Anecdotally, most of the owners of the dogs who covertly got the rapamycin reported their dogs displayed increased activity and energy, compared to only a minority of the owners of the pooches slipped the placebos. It was time to try rapamycin out in humans, which I'll cover next. Thank you.